Hey, what's up guys? Nick here today, and today we're going to be playing some Warzone Turbo. Now, if you don't know what Turbo is, it's basically Warzone, but on steroids. Everyone starts with level 9 Rex, so that basically means everyone can get any weapon or vehicle they want from the very beginning of the game. So, it's pretty chaotic, it's pretty nuts, but luckily I have every single wreck in the game timed by like a million. So, our job today is to go into Warzone and try and become the most overpowered player of all time. So, Knowing my luck, I'll probably lose all the weapons pretty damn quick, but we'll have some fun while doing it, so I'll see you there. Okay, we've got a game on Battle of Noctis, so I think the plan of attack is to take out all of the AIs in the base first, and then we're going to go for a Temple Banshee, so I know my track record with Banshees isn't the best in the world, but you know, practice makes perfect, and that's what I like about Turbo so much. You can use whatever wreck you want as many times as you have it to uh, try and get semi better with it, so as you can probably tell, I waste a lot of wreck. Okay, so I have 34 Temple Banshees, so you know, I have more than enough to kind of waste and practice with. I'm gonna say practice with instead of waste, but we all know the truth. We all know what's gonna happen. I missed my first shot because I absolutely suck. No, rip, no, <laughs> oh shit, we're out of here. Nope, 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 not today. Kill the Banshee, kill him, slay him. Kill him! Die! Die! Bro! Oh! Dude, I'm so lucky that Scorpion knocked him back! Oh! We're out of here! No! Don't kill me! That wasp kind of got completely, uh... Kind of... Oh no. Okay. Alright. Okay. Well, that's how you end a Banshee spree. I was gonna say that wasp got completely, like, screwed over because that Scorpion knocked him back outside, but then I kind of got lasered, so... I think I'm gonna leave the Banshees. I think I'll just have to admit the Banshees just aren't my thing. So we're gonna snipe a little bit, see what we can do. I will get like a Nornfang and all that stuff out. Just, I need a little bit of warm up time. And if I got a Nornfang out, I'll probably lose this, uh, lose it straight away because it's damn Banshee. So it's probably a good thing. Oh, well, we traded. That's something at least. All right, okay. Not a bad start. So we're gonna get an Asteroid and see what we can tear up with this thing. Okay, so we've gone for the answer speed boost combo. So hopefully we can do something good with this. The answer is a sick weapon, but you know, me and my rack luck, me just in general in Warzone, I just completely never do good whatsoever, so let's hope for something different this time. Let's hope for some good luck and some good plays. I've been trying to work out what the best weapon combo to have in this playlist is. It's, it's the best to have like a sniper and a Spartan laser, so you can take out vehicles and also snipe people from like across the map, or is it an answer and a sword or something like that? So I want you guys to leave a comment down below letting me know what you're what you think would be the best combo to have in this playlist because I see three scorpions there and I don't really have any way of taking them down right now unless I was to get, you know, Celine's Lance or something. So, I don't know. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think would be the best weapons to have at once. Amazingly, the other day, I was able to actually get an unfrig unbelievable in this playlist. I've got three unfrigs in my entire time on Halo 5 and I got one just the other day. It was probably the most unimpressive unfrig of all time as I had to use two Phaeton Helioses to get it, but... I got there in the end. I was sweating bullets. I was very, very nervous, but unfortunately I wasn't recording, but I don't know if I'd want to show it off on YouTube because of how sweaty it was, I guess. But uh, yeah, I managed to get one anyway. All right, so the answer is probably one of my favorite weapons in this game, to be honest with you. For a while, I couldn't really use it. For whatever reason, I would just charge in and get taken out. But I've now realized you can shoot people from pretty damn far away with this thing. Uh, they really don't need to be like right in front of you whenever you shoot them, so. Got a little bit better. Oh no, okay. He had a he had a CE Magnum, so I'm just saying I'm not too bad with the answer, and then I die straight away with it, but god damn it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna switch it up a little bit and go for the Prophet's Bane this time. I hope they don't see me coming. They probably will. But we might to get two people. I thought that guy like was gonna ninja me there, but we got our answer back, which is the main thing. This is the worst part about Turbo as well. You see all these sick weapons on the ground, but you can't pick them up because you already have like two very good weapons. So you're kinda like CE Magnum, a rocket. Uh, and an, an arrow of time, but I already have an, an, an answer and a prophet's being so it's kind of like you know What do you prioritize here? What do you what do you go for over something else? Oh, this guy is so dead. I almost I almost feel bad. I almost feel kind of bad All right guys, I'm probably making a dumb mistake here, but we're gonna we're gonna try and make our way in to take out this core I'm hoping for the best. I think I'm gonna try and sneak in around the enemies first and then go into the core room Okay, well, there's one. Huh! Huh! Okay, we're okay. We got lucky. Holy moly. All right, just sneaking on in. 
You don't see me and I don't see you either. Let's just collaborate and pretend that we're all friends and there's no need to spot the invisible guy sneaking through your base to blow up your core, okay? So just chill out, have a good time. I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean it. No, there's another invisible guy here. I didn't lock on to that marine. I locked on to the invisible guy and I just zoomed right past him. <laughs> God damn it, man. That's so bullshit. Pretty sweaty strat that I've picked up is going full camo with a fuel rod and just sneaking into the base and just unloading your weapon onto the core. It seems to work very, very well. Uh, you know, obviously it's a little bit try hard, but from time to time you have to do what you have to do to try and win the game. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to blow up the core right now. That math just scared the shit out of me, not gonna lie. But, uh, hopefully we can sneak on in there. And no! Oh my, K okay, random grenade came in from nowhere, but it's all good. I'm surviving. I'm living. They'll never see me coming. Okay, give me the beam. Oh, this this teammate here is the same idea. Oh no, let me pass. Okay, teammate, we, we got this. Game over. See? Easy! Easy! I think my teammate did all the work there, but, you know... I helped, I guess, a little bit. So we'll play a second game, see how we do. As that one went very, very quick. Okay, game number two on Skirmish at Dark Star. So for this map, we're gonna go a little bit more hardcore on the sniping. We're gonna get a Nornfang out pretty damn early on, see what we can do with it. Our Marines there are getting absolutely wiped out. So I'm gonna grab a, a Nornfang from the quickest or the closest rec station that I can find. Hopefully we can get some kills with that thing. Um, chances are we'll probably die, but. We'll soon find out, I guess. Now, something I want to mention about Warzone Turbo is it's probably the funnest thing I've played in Halo 5 in a very, very long time. My favorite playlist in Halo 5 was Shoddy Snipers, but unfortunately that was removed. Now that Turbo's in, I'm having an absolute blast. I think it's so much fun. It's just stupid fun. That's all it is, which is what I enjoy the most in Halo. It is a Nornfang time, so I'm feeling kind of scared. I'll be honest. Please don't hit Please don't hit me, please. Okay, I started to get a camo and an overshield as well, just to be a little bit more careful, you know. There's nothing wrong with being a little bit wary of your surroundings at all times, so unless we get, you know, mauled by a friendly ghost, I think we'll be okay. But back to Warzone Turbo, so it's the most fun I've had in this game in a very long time, but unfortunately it's not staying forever. Warzone Turbo is soon gonna go from Halo 5 again after about a year uh, since it was last in, which is really upsetting as I enjoyed it an awful lot. Oh, that guy with the gavel. I feel so bad. But I seriously think 343 should consider keeping Turbo in as like a weekend playlist or something that only comes in at the weekend, but also give it double RP because you're using a lot of wrecks in it. Uh, well, play well, I do anyway. I use an absolute ton of wreck. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. But if it was only put it in at the weekend and it had double RP so people would get the wreck points back a little bit quicker, I think it would be perfect. I think it would work very, very well. As I know a lot of my friends really enjoy Turbo. I know it's only really fun if you have a lot of wrecks, but you know, if double RP is in, then maybe people can have a chance to actually get some RP and, you know, buy more gold packs. So I don't know. I think that's something that 343 should consider. As uh, me personally, I think it's an absolute blast and I know a lot of my friends find it really fun too. Oh, goodbye, Phaeton. But do you guys think that Warzone Turbo should stay, or do you think it should become one of those playlists that, you know, comes in every weekend or every, um, you know, every other month or something like that? Let me know in the comments down below what you what you think, because, I don't know, I think it'd be good as a, as a weekend thing. I know we have a uh, mythic Warzone firefight, but I think I would prefer this over that, in my opinion, anyway. No, no! Oh, he snuck up on me. I should have heard him coming from a mile away. That sucks. Oh, you fucker. You absolute piece of shit. I just got my sword, ran outside, and then I'm dead already. Come on, man. Alright, guys, so I've recently discovered that my favorite thing to do in this game is to get, like, five speed boosts, get an energy sword, and just fly through the map like an absolute madman. If I could run, that would be, you know, kind of cool, but the fact I'm going so fast actually makes it kind of hard. But you just put on speed boost, get a sword, and you just sprint like a madman. The enemy team don't know what's hit them. You don't even know what's hit them because you're going so fast. And it is just insanely good fun. I absolutely love doing this. Oh my god, he didn't know. Did not know what's just hit him. Goodbye, Marine. Goodbye, Marine. Goodbye, Marine. Oh man, this it's it's honestly it's so fast that it's hard to control at times, to be honest with you, because you kinda like fly up. So we're gonna get this armory. This enemy team, they don't even stand a chance, dude. I'm just I'm going too fast. I feel like Sonic right now. Get out of here. Okay, that guy had a sword as well, so I got very, very lucky. So let's get this armory. It is mine. 
Okay, Sonic, back at it again. We're flying in. Hacha. Oh man, fuck. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next plan is we're gonna get a speed boost on a George's chain gun. Take things down. I haven't used a George's chain gun in a very, very long time, so it's good to have this thing back in my hands. I have never really been that good with it. I, as usual, play kind of terrible with it for whatever unknown reason, but uh, this Phaeton obviously wants me to die, so we're not gonna agree with that. We're gonna run away. Okay, there must be a guy on the roof, and I'm scared. I am scared. Please don't kill me. Please. So I'm begging. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, we're good. Oh lordy. Okay, we did it. Holy crap, I was scared, not gonna lie. I was very, very terrified there. Die. Okay, you don't stand a chance. Oh, okay. Yo, this weapon is actually so sick. It is such a great weapon and I love it. I love it so much. Okay, stay away from me. Stay away from me. Okay, we're doing a good job. We're actually doing a good job for once. Okay, we've got two speed boosts. We're ready to get back out in the action. Let's not get sniped instantly in the head. That would suck. Okay, we got lucky. We did get very lucky there. Let me get my shields back. Let's charge in. Dude, this weapon, it just tears through people. They don't stand a chance. They don't stand one chance at all. This guy just spawned. I feel kind of bad. No, I'm out of ammo. Rip, rip, rip. Rest in pepperoni. Ooh, okay, I mean, that kind of worked out. Kind of worked out. Okay, I'm gonna go with the Celine's Lance now, I think, as uh, in case any of them have any vehicles, like this guy in this Mantis. We're gonna just take him out real quick. Hopefully he doesn't, like, you know, run away so I can't actually shoot him. Dude, how many shots does it take to kill you? For the love of God, please just die. Is it too much to ask? Okay, we got the Mantis. That's all that matters. Now I can sleep at night. Okay, we've got a camo, so let's go full sneak mode. Get out of here. No one's gonna kill me today. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> of course he had a Phaeton, dude. Of course he did. The one vehicle that could probably have taken me out, he had it. I should have just stayed crouched, snuck way away, and got out of there, but no. I had to get trigger happy and try and go for the kills. But that's it, I need revenge. My Celine's Lance. Needs to be needs to kill something. Alright, we got the we got him straight back. That feels good, but God damn it. I was I was going on a nice spree there and he ended it. Okay, we've already spanked for prime, so there's 19 points left in this game. Can we get one kill with this thing? One kill. Yeah, there's a double kill. I'll take it. I'll take it. Triple. No, I just missed. <laughs> And we killed him in the end, so it's all good. We got there. I'll count that as a really delayed overkill, even though it makes no sense. And that, my friends, is a good game of Warzone Turbo. That's what I'm talking about. We got 40 kills, most kills in the game. I also went on a running riot, so that's not too bad. All right, guys, that's going to do the video. I hope you did enjoy watching me play some Warzone Turbo. As I said, absolutely love this playlist. It is a pile of fun. I wish it would become more of a frequent thing, if not every week, every weekend, or every other weekend, or something like that. Let me just play it more than once a year, and I'll be very, very happy. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. If you have any comments about anything that I mentioned in the video, make sure you leave them in the comments, as I enjoy reading them a lot. My name is me, Nick. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!